Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, if you're an Android TV or Google TV user and you use streaming apps like these, chances are one of your biggest complaints are all the advertisements that play during, before, and sometimes after uh, the different things that you're looking to watch. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you an application that you can install on all of your devices that basically gets rid of all of those pesky advertisements. After you have this app installed on your Android TV device, you're just one click away from enjoying all of that content with no interruptions. The key function of this app can get a little technical, but I'm gonna do my best to keep it as simple as possible. And when you're done, you're gonna be able to do this with no problem whatsoever. So if you're ready to see how this application works up close and personal, sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, so before I show you the app and how to get it, I will uh, demonstrate real quick. Let me go into one of these uh, streaming apps that uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with and show you what happens. We'll just go ahead and pick one at random. You know how it works. Play one of the links. So far, so good. You'll usually get to this part without too much of a problem. But it's when you go ahead and exit or stop the stream and you want to go ahead and play something else, watch what happens. You get kind of stuck with some of these ads that just pop up in the middle of nowhere, you're just navigating around the app and there you go, it just, it's a pain. You really can't do a lot about it. Very often you just have to wait through it. Some of these advertisements, you actually need to install a mouse toggle to be able to navigate around and hit that X. And I'm moving around on this remote and it isn't doing anything. So we're kind of stuck. Let me now hit the home button. I'll show you now how to get uh, this app, tell you what it is and so on. Before we install the app, there is a setting that we're going to need to do. We're going to want to go over to the gear and go down to where it says system and go to about and then go all the way down to where it says Android TV OS build. Now, if you've done this already, you don't have to do it again. What I'm going to look to turn on right now is called developer options. So you'll hit the center button a bunch of times here for me it says no need you're already a developer if you've never done this before you're going to have to hit this a few times until until you see that the developer options were turned on and then when we go over to system and now you can scroll down you'll see developer options there it is enabled and you want to go down and pick this where it says usb debugging now the default setting is off like this so you do want to make sure that this is turned on and you'll get the message, allow USB debugging, click OK. Now on the NVIDIA Shield, it will say network debugging. Um, same thing, just go ahead and click on that if you do happen to have an NVIDIA Shield. And then that's it as far as the settings go. Now I should have mentioned this, this is Walmart's um, on 4K streaming device Pro with Google TV. We're gonna go over, in this case, to apps, and we're gonna go down to where it says search for apps and games. Now the developer of this app you might be familiar with is Tech Doctor UK. So you just search for TD UK in the search here and you're gonna see two or three of his apps that he's released. All three of them I have and love, by the way, you can check them out. But the one we're looking for today is DNS Switcher. I already own it. I'll get to the details of this app as far as getting it for yourself in a little bit. But let me go ahead and install it. And then I will show you how to uh, configure it. And I'm also gonna explain a little bit about what it does. Because like I said, it is a little bit complicated or a little bit sort of geek uh, tech term stuff that we're gonna get into in a minute. But, uh, like I said, I'll try to simplify it. When you first open the app, you're gonna see this message, new key pair generated, click OK. Connect to this device via ADB. The first time and only the first time you do this, you're gonna see this um, checkbox here. It says allow USB debugging, always allow, and then click allow. All right, so Tech Doctor UK DNS switcher. First of all, what is DNS? Basically any place that you go to in the world on the web has an IP address, an internet protocol address. No person can really keep track of all those addresses. There's just millions and millions of them. So in this case, your streaming device is gonna go out to netflix.com. It's gonna go out and it's gonna look for what they call a DNS server. The DNS server has a table of all of the IP addresses that match up with the place where you're trying to go. 
So in this case, Netflix.com. Now that DNS table could be on your local device. It could be in your browser. It could be at your ISP. It could be out there further out beyond on the internet. Bottom line is people can see um, your DNS requests um, over the internet. It's unencrypted. It's in what they call plain text. And what this um, Tech Doctor UK DNS switcher does is it changes it to an encrypted uh, DNS query. So in other words, it will encrypt that data. So those requests are anonymous. That's about as simple as I can get. If you want a bigger explanation, you can Google it. There are literally hundreds or thousands of people trying to explain to people what DNS is. So back to the DNS switcher app, we are already connected. Next thing you can do is you select a DNS server. This is the latest version of this app. Some new DNS servers have been added. These first couple at the top here, basically uh, they do nothing but encrypt the actual DNS, which is an important thing um, to keep you know, those requests um, private. However, some of these down further down the list, they also have what they call ad blocking as part of the DNS server. So any of these apps that reach out and try to play an advertisement, um, it's going to have a hard time doing that because these will block those requests. So you can experiment with these if you want to. The one I'm going to do right now is the third one from the bottom. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to hit start using encrypted DNS. And you'll see at the bottom it says private DNS enabled. Last thing we can do, and this is sort of optional, but if you wanted to see it in graphic form, you can see what this actually did. If you have a browser installed on your device, like TV Bro, for example, that's the one I have. It's my default browser. Um, it's free. It's in the Google Play Store. You can go ahead and grab that. Just search for it. But if you click on that, so these are the DNS servers that are being used. Again, you don't really need to know much about how all this inner workings happens, but rest assured, the proof is in the pudding. So now let me go out and we'll go back to that, that same application. And I'll go ahead and play something again like before. So that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. And when we exit out, if you remember before, when we did that, it brought up an ad right away. And now, as you can see, you can navigate around this app all that you want. You can play whatever you'd like and you will not get any advertisements throughout. Now, I should have mentioned earlier, once you hit this, uh, start using encrypted DNS server. And again, whether you want to go ahead and test it or not, you can go ahead and exit. You don't need to have this app running all the time. This actually makes the change in the settings of the device itself to those DNS servers that we selected. So you can go ahead and click exit here if you want to. It just frees up a little bit resources. This is a very lightweight app, but it does free up any resources that it might be using while it's running. Now, this app is not free. It is $1.99, just like the other um, apps that TechDoctor UK has available in the Google Play Store. However, that is a lifetime license. It's available on unlimited devices. So if you have one Android TV device or 50 or 100, it doesn't matter. You can install it on all of those devices forever, including all of the updates. Now, there aren't a lot of pay apps that I ever recommend uh, people getting, but this one I feel is well worth the money. To be able to make these changes manually, it is possible, but it, it requires a whole bunch of ADB commands, um, very easy to mess up and very easy to brick or break your device um, by you know doing the wrong thing. So the TDUK had actually managed to put this into an app. He's worked on it for a long time. He's gotten it to the point where it's really stable and it works great. I've tested it out now for a good week and it's really doing a great job. So there you go, DNS switcher from TDUK. Now you may have noticed that little green dot over there in the lower right hand corner below my lovely face over there. That's IP Vanish. I've had that running since the beginning of this video. I would never run any of these streaming apps without a VPN running. The one that I use and recommend is IP Vanish, as you've probably heard me say before. Right now through October, I believe, I'm not sure if it's the whole month, but they're running a really crazy deal. Just a little more than $2 a month for IP Vanish. You can install once again on all of your devices, your phone, your laptop, your tablets, all of your streaming devices. You can even share that with your family members and get all of them uh, to use IP Vanish as well with your subscription. So if you do decide to give that a try, it does help in a small way to support the Cord Cutters LA channel. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
And as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Alive videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.